What's going on YouTube? Today we're checking out a budget projector from US Sunny. This is the US Sunny 9800L 1080p projector. Now I say budget because of the price. We'll talk about that in a second here. But also this thing, look how small this thing is. It's not a bad size. I would say this is more of a mobile style projector where you can pick it up and take it anywhere you want. Take it camping, take it, take it to for a picnic, take it to um, a tailgate, you name it. This thing can be easily picked up and moved. Now it does come with a, a little uh, carrying case, which is really cool and allows you to put the owner manual in there as well as a little pocket for all the accessories that this thing's come with. So that way you can go ahead and put it in there and it's protected and you can take it on the go, which is kind of cool. There are quite a few different features on this. We'll get to in a second here, but I want to go ahead and show you what you get in the box and kind of all the accessories it comes with. So let's go ahead and show you that now. So here's what you get in the box. It came with this nice carrying case. We have a little pouch here at the top right here. You can see where you can put user manual, anything like that. You got little straps right here to put the actual unit in here. And then you have a little side compartment right here to put all the HDMI cable, power cord and remote, anything like that you need. You have a remote. You have the projector. We'll look at that in a second here. You have a power cord that plugs into the back of the projector. You have an HDMI cable that they provide you, which is really nice. You have this audio jack, looks like her quarter size jack that goes to your regular RCA inputs. So you have something that's a little archaic nowadays. You can use that still. And then you have a little screw here that goes on the bottom of the projector so you can angle it up higher. Then you have a pretty lengthy user manual. And here is the projector. It comes with this little lens cover. Doesn't really stay on very well, but if it's just sitting still, it stays on, so it's great. And also you wanna put that on when you travel with it too. So this thing's a little rubber here. So you got the lens right here. Uh, looks like the infrared sensor for the remote. This is shiny white, and then this is flat white at the top. And it says, don't look into the projector. And then you, it looks like you got a focus and kind of a keystone ring up at the top. And then you have a power button menu button, input source button, and a back key, and an OK. And then this silver ring around the OK button looks like it allows you to navigate the menu. So at least you don't have to necessarily use the remote, which is nice. So if you lose it or forget it, there's also an infrared spot for the remote on the back side, which is really nice. On the side here, you have headphone input, the AV jack there that we have, USB, and then two HDMI ports, which is really nice. Some vents right there. On the other side, we have some vents here too, and the power plug. I would like to see those, all those on, all these on the side here. I'd like to see them on the back, but hey, whatever. On the bottom here, you have that screw for the, for the little foot. And then you have a quarter 20 screw here. So if you have put it on a tripod, it, it can work out. And then you got some more vents here, it looks like. Maybe speaker. This might be the speaker on the back. I think it's a speaker on the back. And maybe the sides too. We'll, we'll, we'll look at it. And then you got some rubber feet here. So you can set this on a countertop or something like that. And that's the projector. So now that you've seen that, let's go ahead and go over some of the key features of this projector and some of the qualities that it has. So you're going to be looking at, it is 9,800 lumens. It's a third gen 1080p optical glass lens. It works off the wireless function of 5G slash 2.5G dual path Wi-Fi or 5.0 Bluetooth. So you can stream from your phone to this device. It's got 15,000 to one contrast ratio, maximum screen size up to 300 inches. LED life on the bulb here is 100,000 hours. It does have a color gamut of 91%. Keystone correction of plus or minus 15 degrees. Zoom function of 100% to 50%. So like I said, the quality of the video, I was very impressed with. So you're gonna see quality of the video during, I, I kind of simulated during the daytime. I do have my studio light on half blast here, basically directly at the wall. And as you can see, you can, you can pick out what's going on on the wall here. So this would be like the equivalent of being in the room with multiple windows wide open so that the sun's shining inside and the projector projecting on the wall. You're probably not gonna be projecting or using this projector in bright sunlight like this, but 
uh, just kind of get an idea of how bright it is and how well it still shows up with the amount of light it has. Now, let's go ahead and look at the quality of the video at nighttime. So this is a pitch black room and here's how bright and how vivid the colors are when it's really dark inside the room. This is what I'm really impressed about this projector and the price point here is how bright this is and how vivid the colors are and just how everything looks really well done. In the menu functions, you're gonna be able to go through and pick out whether you wanna watch a movie, music, photos from a USB drive. It will allow you to put movies on a USB drive in, a, in certain formats. It does use MKV, which is the standard format for most videos that are on digital, but it also, it does quite a few, so you should check that out on the link below. Um, but make sure you have the audio right on there as well, because I used a few that I was uh, gonna watch and I realized that the audio was like DTS or something like that and it just didn't work on this device. So make sure when you're trying to transfer a digital video to the USB drive, it it is within the required uh, codecs for the video as well as the audio. Now playing through the HDMI like a Roku device, it did really well, was easy to use. Um, it, it just worked out like it was supposed to. Now, if you want to stream something from your phone, you're able to do that. This thing omits a Wi-Fi signal or you can connect this to a Wi-Fi device or a Wi-Fi access point and you can send it from your phone to this device and stream it from your phone to your device or laptop or anything like that. I will say it was very interesting to me uh, once I connected this thing to my network on Home Assistant, it told me I had a new device ready to be hooked up and it showed up as this. It showed up as an Apple TV 3 it's kind of weird. I don't know why I did that. I just thought it was interesting. So I wanted to add this into the video. Now, last but not least, I want to talk about the audio quality. The quality of the audio was pretty good. Uh, I didn't really want to, I, I don't know if you can display or uh, play audio from like Netflix, something like that. I didn't want to get taken down. So I didn't really use it on this, but the audio quality out of this device was pretty good. I will say if you're going to do something like a picnic or do like a video outside with the neighborhood or something like that, I would d use the audio jack and, or at least the headphone jack and connect it to like a Bluetooth speaker or, or a speaker that has an aux port. It'll do a lot better than this, but for the actual audio quality out of this, it wasn't bad at all. I couldn't believe it. Um, don't expect too much, but at the end of the day, it wasn't too bad. So for $189, I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check it out and current pricing. Uh, also, you can go ahead and click on that link and check out a little bit more information about this that I may have left out on this video. I didn't want to make this video super long by any means because I want to keep you interested. But if you have any more questions about this, go feel free to check out the link in the description below. As well as if you have any questions, go ahead and put it in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. If this video helped out in any way, please leave me a like. If this is your first time to my channel, please consider subscribing and I will see you next time.